Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes Tuesday expert interview. Let's get started. The chemically defined medium uh, has been developed now for some time. How, how does it compare in terms of its impact on productivity? So I would say it, it compares quite well in terms of achieving the same type of high densities, the same type of high yields of your product. I think that uh, the credit though goes also to the cell lines who've been developed in chemically defined environments. And so together I think the system performs remarkably well. I mean, we see titers of over 10 grams per liter these days. We see cell densities over 30 million cells per mil in batch cultures. And so I would say, again, it's a combination of cell and media. In a way, these are just intertwined and interdependent. The chemically defined medium was, was brought uh, about partly to uh, mitigate the risks associated with virus infections right. and so on. And in your experience, has that happened? Have we, have, are we much better in controlling uh, virus in infections in, in new systems now? So we've made a lot of progress. We certainly are. And I think the industry has become much more aware, partly because of some very expensive contaminations that have occurred at large scale. So as a result of that, it's not only avoiding risky components, but also treating fluids, process fluids, with you know flash pasteurization, yes. like HTST, yes. and these types of technologies provide an extra level of assurance. Yes. So oh, you know, I hope that people adopt these technologies and see the importance before another expensive event happens. Thank you for listening, and for more information on this and other bioprocessing topics, including expert interviews, please go to our Two Minutes Tuesday archive. Have a great day.